Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. So for our objective today, we will learn all about compound words. <gasps> Winter edition at that too. So compound words, let's go ahead and take a look at these two words at the bottom of our page here. We have the word fire, and you all know what fire is, plus the word place. You all know what a place is. And when we put it together, here we have a word, fireplace. Hmm, does anyone have a fireplace at their house? So here is an example of a compound word. Two words, and when we put it together, it makes one word. Whoa. So compound words, two words joined together to make a new word. We went ahead and talked about the two words, fire and place, to say fireplace. And our next example, we have the word ear and muffs. And when we put ear and muffs together, we get the word, what do you guys think? Earmuffs. And we wear earmuffs when it's very cold outside. Okay, and the next example, we have the word pine and the word cone. And when we put the word pine and cone together, we have the word pine cone. You guys got it. Do you guys have any pine cone at your house? Miss Gonzalez has a lot of pine cones at her house for the holidays this year. So let's go ahead and watch this Brain Pop Junior video to learn more about compound words. Firefighter Farah tells a folk tale around the campfire. Did you spot the compound words? What are compound words? A compound word is a word that is made up of two or more different words. Different words are joined together to make a new word with a different meaning. In this sentence, Haircut is a compound word. It's made up of the word hair and cut. When you join the two words together, you get one word that means the cut and style of hair. The word daydream is also a compound word. It's made up of the word day and dream. When you join the two words together, you get one word that means to dream during the day. In this sentence, firefighter is a compound word. It's made up of the word fire and fighter. Together, they form a word that means a person who fights fires. What are some compound words? I can think of a lot of compound words. When you stand on your hands, you're doing a handstand. If you stay out in the sun too long, you can get a sunburn. So you should wear sunblock. Sometimes there are rainstorms in the summer. There are compound words all around us. Playground, backpack, homework, and basketball are all compound words. A rattlesnake is a snake that has a rattle on its tail that it shakes. A woodpecker is a bird that pecks wood. A catfish is a fish that has feelers that look like cat whiskers. This is a special fish that has a big fin that looks like a sail. What do you think it's called? Right, Moby, it's a sailfish. What do you call a pot that's used to make tea? A teapot. What do you call a brush that you use to clean your teeth? 
a toothbrush. How can compound words help you when you read? Sometimes when I read, I get to a word that I don't know. Grandpa is a globetrotter. What does globetrotter mean? Break apart the word to help you figure it out. I know that a globe is a model of Earth, and when a horse trots, it jogs or runs slowly. So, a globe trotter must be someone who runs around the world and visits different places. Sometimes you can't figure out a compound word by breaking it apart. When you join the words butter and fly, you don't get a flying stick of butter. You get an insect with wings. So Annie and Moby did a great job helping us understand what compound words are. Just like as Annie was saying, sometimes as we're reading our books, we find a lot of compound words. And some compound words, we might not understand the meaning of the word, even though we know the two words that were put together to make that one word. And as she said, we can make inferences when we don't understand the word. So when you don't understand a compound word, you can always use a dictionary or for our nonfiction books, maybe the glossary, and hopefully you can find the meaning of the compound word and understand what the word means. So here we have our first activity worksheet and all of our worksheets are going to be focused on winter time so that we can get ready for our holiday break. Um, so here we go. So here we have a lot of words that need to be put together to make a compound word. So we did the first one together earlier. We have the word fire, place. And when we put it together, we have the word fireplace. We have the word winter and we have the word time. And when we put it together, we have the word winter time. All right, let's do one more together because I think you guys got this now. Here we have the word over plus the word coat. And we have the word overcoat. And for some of you guys that don't know what an overcoat is, let's think about it. We know what the word over means, right? Over something, right? And we know what the word coat is. We put a coat on when it's very cold outside. So what can an overcoat mean? Okay, maybe it's a long coat that we put over our clothes so that it can keep us warm. And so now you are going to complete the rest. You have this worksheet. And if I turn the page, you have more worksheets to complete. You have another worksheet with more, with about five more compound words you need to put together. Here you have winter words that uh, you can take a look at to kind of help you complete some activities. And here you have another compound word sheet that you kind of need to uh, add one word to it to complete the compound word. And here you have some compound word sentences that need to be completed with a compound word. So you are going to take your word work time to complete all these wonderful wor winter worksheets with your class and your teacher. And you are going to practice and learn all about compound words. Awesome job, boys and girls, learning all about compound words today. I really hope you have a great time completing these winter worksheets. And I will see you next time. Happy holidays.